December 14, 1997 was the day Kobe Bryant recorded his first 30-point game. And although Adidas can't tell that story technically, they did release the shoe he did it in. So today we're looking at the Crazy 8 in the white, black, and purple color. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast, and we're back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you hadn't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment. Those things together, just like Voltron, come together and make the channel even greater. Help you get, help me, I should say, get through the algorithm and help more and more people see the channel. So I really do appreciate you guys, everything you guys do when it comes to those little functions or just sharing the video with other people. I really do appreciate everybody for doing so. Now, getting right into our sneaker today, if you can't tell, I'm super excited about this one because I love a good retro basketball shoe, even more so I love one that's part of a defining moment of a career. And you clearly can see we're looking at some of the old Kobe Adidas today. And this one's gonna be the Crazy 8, which is gonna be in the white, black colorway, or white, black, and purple colorway, in which he scored his first 30 point game, and that was gonna be against the Mavericks in 1997, December 14th to be exact. Now, before we get into the shoe, I just wanna say thank you to Adidas for sending this pair over. I'm super excited to be able to give you guys an early look at this one because it will release this Saturday, the 25th. So I know Black Friday is the day before, everyone's spending their money, there's a lot of releases happening, but keep an eye out on these, especially if you have a basketball fan or a Kobe fan in your life, or maybe you're that fan. So this is definitely one that's gonna be available uh, on the Adidas website, again, on the 25th. Now, before we, again, dive deeper into the sneaker, I just wanna give the applause to what Adidas is doing with the Kobe line, although it's not the Kobe line anymore, it's the, the crazy line, but with the other brand really dragging their feet, really not appeasing the, the customer, the fan, it's nice to be able to go even further back into the vault and see things like the crazy one or, or the Kobe one being accessible to everybody. Or if you want an elevated version of things like the Crazy 8, they're coming back with more premium materials rule in style colors, those tonal colors, those suede, they're giving you that on some of those Crazy 8s as well. And of course, you're getting the history like we're going to look at today. So just hand claps to Adidas for being able to give us that that access and those real, those true fans who want to go even deeper past the, the Nike sneakers can go in and look at those uh, Adidas shoes and have decently easy access to them. Now, this particular Crazy 8 is going to be more of the traditional build. It's not going to be the suede like we saw in the previous few models. This is going to be more of the leathers, the synthetics that really were worn on court at the time. I have a full leather white base or full white leather base, I should say it that way. And it is going to be a pretty thick leather. And you're going to have your Adidas branding that's going to be embroidered right here, done up in more of a shiny white to give it a little bit of depth, a little bit of, you know, distinguishing look against that white leather. You're going to have, of course, your ventilation right up top of that toe cap. And like I say, it is going to be a thick, sturdy leather. It's not going to be something super soft because, again, you are wearing it on a basketball court. So you want to have something that's going to be uh, durable. You want to have something that's going to be structurally sound so you're not you know, walk, falling off the side of the shoe or just having any kind of way that you can possibly hurt your ankles or foot in the shoe. So it is going to be a thicker leather, but doesn't mean it's a bad leather. Now, one of the distinguishing parts of the shoe, that one, something I like a lot is going to be the, I guess you want to call them straps, are the, the fingers or, or hands that go across the top of the shoe that give you that lockdown. But instead of just being in a normal leather, just, you know, black, it is going to be a shiny black patent leather, which is going to be the synthetic here. You're going to see that come across the top of the shoe, which you're going to have your rope style laces going through. And of course, when you do use this, this is kind of a quick lacing style, but it also does get, provide you some more lockdown across the top of your foot. So some more lateral lockdown to make sure, again, you're not falling off the sides of your shoe. Now, the rope laces are going to be a white rope lace, and this is going to be the only lace you get in the box, but really do need a different lace. Not something you, I don't see people changing those out too often. It's going to sit on top of a mesh tongue, which is going to have the, um, ooh, I lost my train of thought. It is going to have the few moments later. Teach you wear logo. Holy crap. My brain just literally just stopped working, guys. The Feet You Wear logo is going to be right here for you. And it's going to be sitting on top of that white mesh. It's going to be done up in that white embroidery like we saw with the Three Stripes logo, the Performance logo there. And you're going to have a break up into the black mesh that's going to give you your Adidas equipment branding. Right up top, there's going to be a mixture of white and gray branding here. You're going to have your white and gray tongue tag, so easy to get that shoe on. And it's going to be backed by a gray mesh, which you're going to see behind the tongue. And of course, inside of the sock liner. So you're going to have a gray mesh to give you some more contrast to the sneaker, which I really like how they put that all together. It looks good. Now, on the, other, on the sides of the sneaker, you're also going to have some perforated uh, leather as well. Just giving, again, some more contrast. 
it's very small perforations i would assume it's going to give you a tiny bit of breathability but nothing that's going to you know be groundbreaking again this is a shoe from 1997 so you're going to have more of those hefty materials than you typically see now but it is a nice look with the mixture between the perforated and the smooth leather it looks nice and of course the patent patent hit you're gonna give the black now we get down to our i should say go up to our ankle collar you're gonna have your adidas branding done up in black and white that's embroidered into the uh, lateral side and the, the feature wear logo look i got it right this time my brain didn't stop working embroidered in the lateral side and or medial side in white you're gonna have your heel which is gonna give you another pull tab here that's gonna be connected to the adidas branding that's gonna be done up in the purple and gold actually which kind of hint hint y'all know it's a lakers color now getting down to the heel of the shoe you're gonna have the cross straps you're gonna see what you're gonna actually give you if you needed some more extra lockdown those straps that cross through the heel actually provide you with another eyelet up top and kind of more of that ribbon form to give you a little bit more extra lockdown if you want to get to the you know highest point of the ankle there from there you drop down you're going to get a patent hit down at the uh, bottom of the heel cup and that same patent is also going to be visible in the midsole on the lateral side so really cool how they give you those extra little hits i really do like that that high gloss mixed with that really soft white leather i think that it is it's a good look it's just a classic look that midsole is going to be probably the most recognizable part of the crazy eight with a very very high eva that is going to be going across the top of the foot or let's just say high up on the side of the foot on the lateral side here providing that lockdown and containment and a little less aggressive on the medial side but still providing some lockdown and containment making sure you're inside that sneaker for the entire game that is going to be mostly done up in a white eva but when you get down to the outsole you're going to have your podge broken up into both black and purple so that's where you get your purple here really hidden so you're going to use your purple on the pods so we're going to be herringbone traction on the forefoot and heel but also of course we saw that purple on the ankle logo as well so you're gonna get a couple different purple hits but it's more of a predominantly white and black sneaker you're gonna have your torsion system that's done up in a blue and yellow and i want to say i think nightwing did a video on this and he wasn't sure if it was that same color and i'm not either i'm not sure if it was this color or the purple and gold you know back in the day but it is interesting for them not to just go ahead and just use purple and gold just to match everything else but hey doesn't bother me i'm standing on it i can't see it but it's a good observation. I just wonder if that's something that they just started doing now. This sneaker is, again, something from 1997. So it's not going to be the most brand new cushioning or uh, technology, but it, it works well. I don't know if you guys saw. I did a video on, it was the orange. It was the Tennessee Women's uh, Lady Volunteers. That Crazy 8. I'll put a link up there. And I actually played it them. And you can still play in this Crazy 8. I love the fact that you can still put this on court. The EVA foam is still comfortable. The shoe still comfortable. You can play it the best of the best out there with this sneaker. So it is super cool really to get my hands on this because of course the history behind it. And if you guys didn't know the Crazy 8 is one of my favorite Adidas basketball sneakers along with the Derrick Rose line. Uh, this is one that I definitely, definitely, definitely will be putting on a lot. Definitely want to try to keep it clean as possible too because this is a lot of white on this sneaker. But again, it's something that I can really appreciate just for the design and again, the story behind it. Because again, they can't tell a story, but we all know, other sneaker outlets know that's what this sneaker was. And it's cool to be like, hey, kind of a wink and a nod, even though they can't openly talk about it. So really cool to be able to get this in their hand. And if you were wondering how they fit, I go true to size in my Crazy 8s. Wide footers, I always tell you guys to try them on if you can, because I know you don't want to go up a half a size and have too much length in the front. So definitely try them on if you can because these, with the way the lace system is, you can actually really loosen these up a lot and get a lot of extra space. So try them on and see what works best for you. But I would definitely say for most people, go to your normal, your true to size. Um, now this sneaker again will be dropping on the 25th of November, which is this Saturday coming up for 140 bucks if I'm not mistaken. So definitely keep your eyes out. This is one for any, again, basketball collector, Kobe fan. This is one to definitely have in the collection. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you waiting to get your pair? Do you have the original pair? I love to hear from you guys if you have the original pair. But let me know down below in the comments. And until next time, guys, see ya.